uh, ndogo zangu wa Kenya nawakaribisha tena katika channel hii ikiwa ni siku ya Jumamosi tarehe sita mwezi wa tano mwaka 2023 kwanza kabla niingie katika siasa siku ya leo najihisi kwamba leo Kiswahili kinanitiririka kwa hivyo wenzangu kutoka mataifa ambayo hayaelewi lugha ya Kiswahili tafadhali leo hii naomba radhi wacha kwanza ni boronge lugha hii yetu tukufu na kisha baadaye Mungu akinijalia nitarejea katika lugha ya Kiingereza Nataka nishukuru kwanza wale ambao mnazidi kunipiga jeki katika kuhakikisha kwamba channel hii inakuwa kwa kasi. Sisi maono yetu ni kwamba channel hii ikuwe na mashabiki elfu mia moja. na tuko safarini kufika na najua kwamba siku chache zijazo miezi michache tutakuwa tumefika mashabiki alfu mia moja. Uh, siku ya jana ikulu ilitangaza wazi kwamba Rais William Ruto ametoka nchini kuelekea UK ili kwenda kuhudhuria hafla ama sherehe za kumtawaza mfalme ambaye alichukua hatamu kutoka kwa Malkia Elizabeth hali maarufu King Charles <laughs> na kupitia kwa msemaji wa ikulu afisi ya rais ambaye ni Hussein Mohamed alitoa taarifa na barua nataka niisome barua hii na kisha baadaye nitairejelea ili kupeana maoni yangu kuhusiana na yale ambayo yameandikwa hapa hata ingawa wanazungumza lugha ya Kiswahili barua hii imeandikwa katika lugha ya Kimombo kwa hivyo ninakusihi unikubalie niisome kwa lugha ya Kimombo na kisha baadaye nitakuwa na changanya ndimi ili kuna wenzetu hasua kutoka taifa la Uganda ambao sana sana hawaielewi lugha hii ya Kiswahili na hata Kiingereza wanakielewa ndio wanakizungumza lakini <laughs> kuna mwanadada rafiki yangu ambaye ni Uganda na amenifunza mambo mengi sana ya Kiuganda na ninaomba kwamba Mungu anijalie siku moja nami nikapata nafasi ya kufika Uganda. Naomba sana kwamba kabla Mseveni aondoke mamlakani. Uh, najua ni mimi nimekuwa nikimchukia sana Mseveni. Na siku moja nipate nafasi ya kuzungumza naye ili nimuulize maswali kadhaa ambayo yananisumbua kilini mwangu. Kwa hivyo if there is a Ugandan who is watching this video and you have capacity i'm really interested in meeting him seven so that i can offload so many questions in my mind and i think anyway dreams always come valid but i think one day before he vacates power i will have the opportunity to share with him i've switched to english because the letter i'm about to read is written in english and thereafter i will inject my opinion on this letter executive office of the president office of the state house spokesperson press release for immediate release this was released yesterday so whatever i'm reading it's of yesterday president ruto's official and state visit to europe and israel president william ruto will be departing the country this evening that's yesterday evening to join other world leaders at the coronation of King Charles III in the United Kingdom on Saturday that is today at the invitation of the king 
President Ruto will attend the historic event to be held at Westminster Abbey and presided over by the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby. I don't know if I've pronounced that word right. <laughs> On Sunday, May 7th, 2023, the President will make an official visit to the Netherlands for a series of bilateral meetings that include a meeting with His Majesty King William Alexandra, King of the Netherlands. Hey, Kaka, today both languages are just flowing. English and Swahili. Okay. During the visit, Kenya and the Netherlands will explore new areas of cooperation and strengthen existing partnerships between the two countries in critical areas such as trade and investment, development cooperation, and multilateral fora. President Ruto will thereafter embark on a two-day state visit to Israel at the invitation of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. <laughs> During the visit, the two ladies will hold high-level bilateral talks or meetings and discuss areas of mutual interests, including technology and innovation, manufacturing, agriculture, and defense cooperation. The president is expected to visit several agricultural projects in the Middle East countries that is renowned for its mega strides in irrigation. Additionally, the president will meet the Israel business community to pitch for their partnership and investment in Kenya. Signed, Hussein Mohammed, MBS, State of Spokesperson, the, the 5th of May, 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, Kwanini ni some barua hii? Nimeisoma ili nizungumzie mambo mawili machache kuhusiana haswa safari ya wili amrito katika maeneo ya the United Kingdom. Siku chache ambazo zimepita. Wili amrito amewekwa katika rekodi akilalamika kuhusiana na jinsi ambavyo walikaribishwa kwa mazishi ya Malikia ambaye ni Queen Elizabeth Ruto alisema katika vyombo vya habari akasema kwamba walipozuru na kwenda kuhudhuria mazishi walikosewa heshima na heshima ambayo walikosewa ni kwamba marais hamsini na nne wa eneo la Afrika waliwekwa pamoja kwa gari moja wakasafirishwa kama mizigo na Ruto alisema kwamba walisafirishwa kama wanafunzi what did alisema they are put together in a bus like students that's what he said mimi nikafikiria kwamba yeye amesoma kwamba tunapoenda haya mataifa ni mataifa ambayo hayatuheshimu sisi kama marais wa Afrika na kulingana na yale matamshi yake ni kwamba alikuwa anajuta kwenda pale na alisema laiti angalijua hangeenda pale akazidi kusema kwamba si vizuri marais hamsini nne kwenda kupiga kambi mbele ya rais mmoja kwa mikutano alisema hatua hiyo ni kukosea heshima marais wa mataifa ya Afrika kwa maono yangu nikafikiria kwamba ndio Ruto amesoma kitu kutoka kwa jinsi ambavyo walikaribishwa kwa mazishi ya Malikia Elizabeth 
na kwangu nikasema ndio ametapika sasa na hawezi rudia matapiko kwangu nikafikiria ndio amegundua walidharauliwa ameyatapika katika vyombo vya habari na nikasema ni vizuri ndio ameyatapika tunashukuru lakini kwenda mbele wacha tuamini kwamba hawezi tena kurudia kulamba matapiko hayo ambayo ameyatapika mwenyewe kwa kusema walikosewa heshima Unajua Let me speak this in English for the sake of putting the information I want to put across For instance when you part ways with your ex you speak nasty things about him or her you say oh she doesn't know how to play the game in bed oh she doesn't know romance oh she he has a toothpick oh i don't know he doesn't brush his teeth oh he doesn't know how to dress oh she doesn't have a good nyash There's so many nasty things about your ex and you keep announcing to people you say we parted ways and she is just rubbish or is just rubbish when the same people you told nasty things about your ex find you again visiting your ex it means you are your head is not functioning well when you part ways with your ex you unamtusi unasema ni mjinga hajui tena kesho wala marafiki uliowaambia mambo majinga na mabaya kuhusiana na ex wako tena wanakupata umeanza safari kwenda kumsalimia your ex uliyemtusi kwa watu uliyemkejeri uliyemvua nguo tena unaelekea pale wanakuonaje I assume the the function that William Ruto attended that's the body of Queen Elizabeth was his ex. He came in public media telling us nasty things about the ex. Wali tudharau, wali tuweka kwa basi kama wanafunzi, wali tukejeri, wali tuweka chini kama marais. Unavaa suti unaweka kwa basi Ruto told us nasty things. Bad things about the UK. Bad things about the organizers of Queen Elizabeth this barrio. I am surprised that the same same president is again going back for almost a similar event. To be welcomed by the same planners who humiliated them at first. <laughs> This shows how African presidents are desperate with the West. African presidents are so obsessed with the West. Ruto amelamba matapiko. Mm. Alitapika tena amerudia kuramba. Ni kweli? Ha. Alitapika amerudi kulamba tena. Jana ametoka amelekea kuhudhuria coronation ya king three jazz the same organizers the same people almost a similar event which he castigated which he said they were humiliated which he said they were they were not respected he has jetted out of the country to go and be welcomed by the same same people who humiliated them when they attended the burial that's a gentleman You can see how African presidents are so desperate. Na wazungu, desperate. At such a time this is why I remember the late Pombe John Magufuli of Tanzania. This is what makes me kaka remember and laugh Museveni for his powerful stand. Museveni cannot attend such nonsenses. Hawezi enda kwa hiyo ujinga. Pombe magufuli kama alikuwa hai hawezi enda ujinga kama hizi Anywho those are your presidents Ladies and gentlemen God bless you see you in the next video
Asante sana.